How's it going, Rackle viewers? Grim Gaddy right back into it with another Legends of the West video on how to make an infamous gun from an infamous western. Now, we're here all dappered up in our, <clears throat> pardon me, our Dark Holiday outfit for the simple fact that today we once again are revisiting Dark Holiday and a gun he uses in Tombstone. Now, this is actually requested by one of my. Excuse you, Hoss. Michael Martin. <laughs> he requested we try to tackle the Meteor side-by-side -side double barrel shotgun that was used in Tombstone by Val Kilmer. Now, this is kind of interesting because I know the gun was there. I know it existed. I saw it. But for the life of me, I had trouble actually remembering what it looked like off the top of my head. So this is a little different for me because I actually had to pull a whole crap ton of photos available, which sadly there are no like good production stills of the gun itself so I'm just ripping off screenshots left and right but that said we're gonna take a good old merry attempt at this now be warned as uh, you're gonna see me fidget and uh, kind of go through a lot of different things but eventually I do settle on end result but it it was actually something of a challenge to do this I don't know if it's because I just haven't done a long arm before or because I just didn't pay that much attention to it in the movie. But all things said, thankfully, again, it's a fairly simple build. The first thing we're going to look at is the barrel length. Now, the barrel length on that thing is actually fairly short, given the fact that it still has a stock on it. Like, it's ridiculously short. So, we're going to throw a short barrel on this sucker, just for the aesthetics. Now, when it comes to the colors of this thing, that gets a little squirrely because I know what they should be and I know what they look like and they're two different things that said stock we're gonna go with a nice wide grain stock just because it looks better on varnishing remove the wrap I have on it because there's no wrap on that gun in the movie here we go metals now this is where it gets really really squirrely and I made a mistake earlier on in this video and I didn't realize I was brown on the barrel but after exploring my options here and going through it and comparing it to the screenshots I had, like, again, this was a tough gun to actually get down pat. But in every screenshot I saw, like, the metal seems darker. Like, it's, it looks like steel, but it looks darker. And it looks even more so on the trigger and trigger guard. So ultimately, I think the best look to try to nail this gun perfectly is blackened barrels, brown steeled on virtually everything else. In fact, right here, I, in the video, I get confused. I'm recording, I'm like, wait a minute, that, that looks like the exact same as a barrel. That ain't right. Is that the blackened steel? Yeah, I need to say, I get a little confused in the video. I kind of made this on a whim because I saw someone actually requested something, and I decided I'll just run with it. Now, when it comes to the wood on this thing, dark walnut, because the wood on that sucker is very, very dark. You know, even with the brown barrel, that actually looks pretty close to what I wanted in the first place. But then I go muck it up as I go back in and start adding other stuff. In the movie, the meteor side-by-side -side they use in it, it does have you know, the steel frame and furnishings and hammers and all that. But they're so darkened that, honestly, I couldn't tell if that was just because they were, it was just so used, or if maybe they were hard case themselves. That's actually not a bad look either, but that's also not the look we're going for. The meteor side by side, sadly, is uh, not that shiny. But ultimately, what we have is an end result in what we attempted at. So, that all said, I'm going to go play with this puppy real quick, as is my my, my usual hobby. I just made a gun, got to go test it out. Realize I screwed up on the color schemes, come back, redo it, shoot it again. I said, let's do some comparison, shall we? Now here we have Doc Holliday, played by Val Kilmer, with said Meteor side-by-side -side shotgun. Now just from this picture alone, we can tell the barrel length is a tad shorter than the long barrel. 
And as I pointed out earlier, yeah, that's steel on, on that framework there, but it's not exactly pretty steel. Hence one of the reasons I went with brown. Now sadly, again, there, there's no real stock image of the gun itself that was used in the movie, so a lot of this is just guessing. Yeah, we got a nice side-by-side -side where you can see a little bit more of the stock. In this picture, it looks more red, but I think that's just from the, uh, the reflection from the dirt below. You know, yeah, it's, it's wood does have a bit of a shine to it, and it will reflect different colors. But no, nah, I, I think dark walnut was the best guess for that color. Moving on to the real thing. Now here we have the actual finished product. Now this is after I realized I made mistakes and went back and redid it. Now dark walnut for the stock. Black and or blue steel, black and looks better and a little bit more true to the gun itself on the barrel, and brown steel on the hammer, the framework, and the trigger guard. Now when it comes to the extra triggers themselves, I leave that up to the dealer's choice. Black and blue, or even brown, they all actually look fantastic with this build. Now let's go ahead and throw up a good old stock photo of uh, a meteor side by side shotgun, not the same one used in the movie. The barrel length on the one I'm about to show you is much longer. Sadly, could not find the picture I thought I had, so instead we're going to go with the actual movie prop, the sawn off version, where I believe it was Wyatt Earp actually is about ready to shoot someone causing a ruckus at his car table. Now, thankfully, they're virtually the same thing, just one's a sawn off version. Both literally look identical in the wood makeup and the metals. Now, sadly, this is not the greatest picture, but that is, in fact, the movie prop from Tombstone itself. As you can see, the steel, yeah, it's steel, but it's dirty, it's darkened, doesn't look that good. Barrels, blackened, yeah, I gotta say. Stock, yeah, dark walnut. So, needless to say, I'm actually kind of happy with the final product. It's about as close as I could have made it, and it looks fairly true to the movie. For those that just want to be Doc Holliday in your Red Dead Redemption 2, well, I just went and gave you a fantastic, fairly close resemblance to having a double barrel shotgun with your Colt Lightning and your Colt Quick Draw. Now, you can always check the previous video for the Colt Quick Draw and the Colt Lightning. Granted, they're not as accurate because sadly we can't have that eagle beak grip as much as I would wish we did. Man, Rockstar, seriously, if you're going to have us customize guns, throw us more customization in the guns. <laughs> anyway, I want to thank you all for watching and be sure to hit like, share, and subscribe. Hit that little bell icon so you're notified of whenever a video gets uploaded. Fair warning, I do upload daily. And there are an assortment of Dungeons and Dragons, Let's Plays featuring Assassin's Creed and Red Dead Redemption 2, and a whole slew of other stuff that honestly you may not be that interested in, but it's worth a gander. I think. Once again, thank you all for watching. Till next time, kids. Take care now. Bye bye then.